And there's plenty of confusion behind the symptoms of the new coronavirus. Healthcare professionals often say to look for cold or flu-like symptoms. But what exactly does that mean? 10 News reporter Rena Nakano sat down with a local doctor who broke it down. According to the CDC, the cold usually presents itself in the form of sneezing, cough, stuffy nose, and sore throat. The flu brings up fever, aches, chills, fatigue, sneezing, cough, and a headache. But the most common coronavirus symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. You can see there are lots of overlaps. But the biggest difference is the respiratory aspect of shortness of breath. When you experience that, that's cause for serious coronavirus concern. I would say that the main thing that is different about the coronavirus is that it most commonly, more so than the others, causes shortness of breath. It's rare for the others to cause shortness of breath. So when should you go to the hospital? Dr. Alulari says don't panic and just run out the door immediately. First, make sure you have fever, cough, and especially shortness of breath. Then call your doctor to let them know of your specific symptoms so that the hospital or doctor's office can prepare for your potential arrival. For example, you may need a special type of room set up, you may not. Listen to their advice, then proceed. You may be asked to stay home and self-quarantine for the time being, or you may be asked to come in immediately to get tested. It all depends on that phone call. Rena Nakano, 10 News.